Village Home has been around a while, so you have yeah. a little experience with, with <laughs> get, getting kids into college. So what does that look like? Well, it looks a lot of different ways, actually. So right. the idea that there's one path to college is completely a myth. We've had kids who have homeschooled all the way through and applied to college as a homeschooler and have gotten in. We have kids that take classes in the community at Village Home or at the community college or something like that and apply as a homeschooler. We have kids that go into a charter kind of system. In the state of Oregon, we have this thing called early college, which right. allows students to take classes at the community college and receive high school credit for it. Hmm. So since the recession, really, that has been a very popular choice for our college bound high hmm. schoolers. So they take classes at PCC and they get high school credit for those as well as college credit for it. Mm -hmm. And then they end up going into university either as a transfer student or as a freshman applicant, mm -hmm. either way. Mm -hmm. But the idea that a homeschooler can't get into college is ridiculous, you know. Now, have colleges caught on to the the benefits of attracting homeschoolers? Like, are they seeking out oh, homeschoolers? Yeah. Yes, they're definitely seeking out homeschoolers because they recognize that they are they're already intrinsically motivated to learn. Like they have figured out that this job of learning is mine to mm -hmm. do. And they also usually have had the time and space in their life to figure out what they're actually interested in right? instead of just kind of being pushed through a little funnel where they have to be a generalist mm -hmm. in everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, definitely. They definitely seek them out. Some of the most prestigious schools are at the head of that line actually mm -hmm. in figuring it out. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.